Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is just I'm just gonna do a dry tutorial because I have to get this over with because the rest of my weekend is going to be busy and today's the only day I can film and today is Saturday, which is my birthday party. Uh -huh. So I have no idea what drag look I'm going to do, but I'm just gonna go do my brows off of camera and I'll be right back and we'll get into the face. The rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with two foundations. I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in O2 Natural. My everyday foundation, I literally wear this all the time. I'm going to take a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I don't know why. I'm just going to fucking do it, so... Don't ask questions. And then I'm going to take my Morphe Y6 brush. And I am just going to mix them together and blend them into the skin. And really just kind of press all this into the skin. So for highlighting, I'm actually just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Probably one of my favorites, and I would take a shit ton of that and really waste it and really just like fucking go in with the concealer. And I'm going in with LA Girls Toffee, their concealer to contour. I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. brush right here. It is just an angled brush in my Anastasia Beverly Hills taupe dip brow. They're not the best brows to match, but they're cute or whatever. So now I'm just gonna go in with some powder and a powder puff, which they give me this for a reason. And we're just gonna fucking be our face. Uh huh. So I'm going to take the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in light to medium. This bitch has been used, you feel me? And I'm going to go in with this color and this color right here. And I'm just going to intensify the contours. For blush, I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild's Pearlescent Pink Blush on my e.l.f. tapered brush. I'm just going to like pat that into the skin like right on the sides okay so now you are close to my face which is kind of weird back up I'm just joking in my modern renaissance palette it's a little dirty or whatever but that just means I use it a lot you feel me with my morphe 518 brush I'm gonna take burnt orange on that brush and basically just go in to the crease I have uh, those two colors in my crease, and I know it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to go in with the eyeliner now. I'm going to take my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I am just going to, like, start the liner, and I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to watch me do it. Actually, yeah, I'm going to stop recording for this shit, because y'all can't see me. So now I'm going to go in with my lip brush from e.l.f. and my Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand. So in this palette right here, I'm going to go in with the shade Lucid. I'm going to see how that works on a brush. I'm just going to take some more Lucid and put that on where, okay, it's not the best. And I'm going to put that on where the cut creases. So in the glow kit from Anastasia, I'm actually going to use Marshmallow instead of Lucid because they literally are almost the same exact thing, but Lucid sucks ass. So I'm going to take some of Marshmallow and I'm going to put that on my, base, yeah, basically where my half cut creases. 
Honestly, Chile, I really had no idea what I was doing, but I mean, this is it. You see that? This is that pop of yellow just on the wings because we extra a little bit. But this is the makeup. It's not my best. I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm posting it anyway because why the fuck? I'm just gonna go on with some rose water spray. Get the powders in place. And then. With the Anastasia Glow Kit, I'm pretty sure I want to use like this, these, one of these two shades, Marshmallow or Butterscotch. I might do both, just because it is a more warm toned look, and I'm gonna do some warm toned highlighters. You feel me? Marshmallow, and basically mix them together, and just put them on my face. Okay, and this is the final look. So I did a couple things off of camera because I didn't really want to show you because it's no point. I just did my lips. I did Anastasia Stripped. I put on these Manda Studio Lashes. I don't know what they're called. Kind of forgot to have them. Um, I put... What else did I do? I don't think I did anything else. I really just kind of kept everything the same. I know the drill, the glow. Yes, bitch. This wig, though. Y'all feel me? I've used all of the wigs. I have two blonde wigs and I never used this wig before. I never showed it in a video. But here it is. So, yeah, this is a Wigs and Grace wig. I forgot what style, but it's in Sorbet Yellow or Sorbet something. It has fucking yellow in it. It's the short one, the curly one, all like, ugh, you know? I love this wig so much. I think it just really kind of goes with the look. You feel me? Like, screenshot pitch. Mm, bitch, I look good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I don't know where it is. It's either here or here. One or the other, but definitely go subscribe. Check out my last few videos. That'd be really awesome if you did. And yeah, there's nothing else I really know what to say for. Check out all my social media links. And thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, peace, love, and gloss. <laughs>